Hello and welcome to another episode of Speed Coding. Today we will look at the base window frame and the window cure. But before we begin I want to go through the window texture. So here we have the basic window texture. It contains 9 different parts. 4 corners, 2 sides, top and bottom and finally the middle. To make the window class reusable and scalable we combine these different parts to a single window. For example, say that we want a window that has a width of 100 pixels. If each corner has a width of 5 pixels and the top also have a width of 5 pixels we simply need to draw the top part 18 times. I will now show this in code but for the first time I will copy past in the values. The concept isn't that hard but it takes some time to write. We start by adding the texture that we built with the monogame piplin. The is done boolean will be used as a flag when the window is done and can be removed by the window cure. We separate the drawings into three different parts, one method for the corners, one for the sides and one for top and bottom. The middle we simply draw in the main draw method. It's pretty straightforward but the sides and top and bottom have a special case. Say that we picked a window width or height that doesn't fit the size of our pieces. Then we will get a small gap so we have to make sure that that account gets a round number. If we don't get a round number, we make a special piece that fit the gap. Now let's start with the window handler. The window handler will take care of all of the windows and handle them in a queue. So we can only have one active window at a time. When a window is done we take the next one in the queue. And now we're going to make a test window to see how it look. As we can see the window fits nicely without any gap. In the next video we will look at windows with...